The next concept that I'll cover here in PowerPoint is using animations. And here's how that works. So basically, we go here under animations. And uh, for example, this slide right now does not have any animations. So if I wanted to insert animations, I could uh, choose one of those options so that how it will appear. So if I wanted to insert any animation, I click on add animation. So I pick a component first, and I click on add animation, and then pick how I want that animation to show up. So in this case, I'll choose to fly in. So the bullets at this point, they will fly in. Now, one other thing to do as well, is, which is helpful, is to reveal this animation pane. So we click on animation pane, and it kind of tells us here as to what, or it shows what we options we have available, what we have animated so far. So notice, so we have one, 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 these, this bundle here, this section, will all show up together. And we have this two, 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 all of these, that means that all of these, when we go to present it, they will show up together at the same time. So here's how it will come up so far. Those three together, the image. Now what about if we wanted to change those so that they came separately? So to change that, we need to click here. So notice we have this section right here. And under the animation pane, we have this drop down under the animation. So we click on the drop down. And then notice the first one here, it's on click. The next one, it says it's with the previous. The next one, it says it's coming with the previous. That means it's going to come up with the same one that we have to click. So if we wanted to change this next one, the second right here, to come up separately, we click on the drop down, and we choose to start on its own click. So now notice if I present this, click one, click two didn't take effect. And then this one, let's say on its own, click number three. Let's try this again. Click one, click two, click three. The reason why this third one came up earlier together with number two, it was because it was set to start with the previous. So if I present it again, click one, click two, and three together. And then we have the next bunch. We need to change the next bunch. Let's say this last one to start on its own, change it on its own click, and then press to present it. So one, two, these two together, and there is one more by itself. So the key here was to show the animation pane and then expand it. Because by default, it's going to show up, show up like this, expand it, and then customize it the way you want. Notice that you can change it so it starts in a different timing, and you can change all kinds of other options in there as well. Notice you can preview it from here, how it's going to show up. Now, how do we animate the images? It's the same idea. So we click on the image or the component that we want to animate. Then we click on animation. Let's say we want to zoom into it. I don't recommend it usually, but for the sake of emphasis. And notice at this point it's going to be number five. So it's going to play like that. Now if I wanted the, this image to come up right after web here, I just simply drag it up and then notice it's going to be that the picture, then the rest of the text. Now if I want the image to come up with the same at the same time as number one, I click on the picture here on the drop down and then choose start with the previous. Now as soon as I present it here in a moment from the web and these two, two computers or this picture of the web will show up at the same time. Or if I present it this way. So the idea here for animation is customize each component the way you want it. Remember, don't overdo it, and then move stuff up and down as needed. Same way it works for clip art. Same idea, you click on add animation, fly in, and what direction.
Now, for smart art, you can animate smart art as well. And a smart art, it's basically the way you do that is by you select smart art here, like we have in this case. And actually, let me go for smart art to this one. Same idea, but just for emphasis. So you pick the whole object for smart art, and then you choose add animation. Now we want this to appear. I notice on animation, I notice that one of the components here on animation for the smart art is that once we have it, the object selected and we have chosen to add animation, there's also an effect options here under animation. So you click on it and then you can have them come one at a time. If I present it, this is how it will show up one at a time. So unfortunately, probably it's not recording it here the whole screen, but you'll be able to see that each object here is coming separately. And again, the way you control that, you enable the animation and you choose the effect options right here as to how you want that to show up within the smart art. Here's our animation for the smart art. Okay, so that's animation.